What's up my friends, welcome back! As you all seen in my videos, I print a lot of stuff for my DIY projects. I print something almost every day, and for that I need a really good 3D printer. I'm in love with the Creality CR10. This is the Creality CR10 Mini and I've used it for more than 6 months. I love the fact that it has a huge printing bed, metal body and very nice quality prints, and pretty much everything about this printer. But as you all seen, there are a lot of 3D printers that look almost the same like this one but the quality of those printers is not always the same. One printer that got my attention is the Tivo Tornado. Why? Well, because it also has a huge printing bed, metal body and the fact that most got my attention is the direct power for the heated bed and also the Titan extruder. So I contact Gearbest for this kit and here I am making a review about this printer. But before we start, I want to say one thing. From now on, all of my tutorials and projects video will be published on Sundays, as I did till now. But the special videos, the Q&As and the reviews, I will try to publish those on Wednesday, so keep that in mind. So that being said, I've got the TiVo Tornado here, so let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. Let's open this huge box and first see what we have inside. I don't know why, but I really like this black color foam than the white one. But anyway, the color isn't important, it's the same foam. Well, inside we have of course the top and bottom parts of the 3D printer, well secured in place. The heated bed doesn't have the screw mounted, so it could move freely. We will mount those later. At the first sight, I can see that there is already a printed example on the heated bed of the TiVo logo. I've got to say that I'm in love with this bright green color on the TiVo surface. By the way, we have a red spare one as well. Ok, so that was the bottom part of the printer. This is the top part. The kit comes with just these two parts, so assembling this printer should be very fast. Ok, next we have the main controller case, which is quite smaller than I expected and looks pretty nice. I like how TiVo puts their logo everywhere. Ok, so that was the printer, let's see what extra stuff we got in this kit. I can see that there is no spool holder, so we should probably print one later. Ok, so we have a spare for the build tag surface in case the green one gets old. The user manual with color photos and all the steps you need to mount this printer and start printing. You even got the basic slicer settings that you have to insert into your desired slicing software. I've got to say that this manual is pretty complete. Ok, so we also have a spare for the Bowden Teflon tube, the power cord, the USB cable, a print remover which comes in handy always and a few small plastic bags. Inside of these bags we first have some tools. These are basically all you need to mount this printer. Next we have the springs and screws for the heated bed which I got to say that look quite thick and good quality. Finally, we have the T-brackets with all the screws that we need to join the two parts together. An end stop switch, some zip ties, a spare nozzle and an SD card. That's it, that's all we have. Before we start assembling, I got to say that I'm impressed with the build quality of this 3D printer kit. The metal frame is pretty much the same as the Creality CR10. The only thing for now that I can see that is different is this metal bracket for the Z-axis lead screw, which in case of the Creality that I have it's made of plastic. What I also like of this kit is that the heated bed and the extruder have separated plugs and that makes the assembling process even easier. To mount this printer all you have to do is to screw in place 4 bottom screws. Place the T-brackets on the side and join the upper part with the bottom part of the printer. The main body is ready in just 2 minutes. Now I remove the heated bed and add the screws with the springs and make sure that the bed is more or less leveled. I get the main controller case and make all the connections. We have very nice labels for all the parts, so we know which cable goes to the end switches or to one of the 4 step motors. So I connect all the motors wires and the limit switches and next I plug the wires for the heated bed and the extruder on the back of the case and we are done. I plug the main power cord and let's start this printer for the first time. There you go, the printer is alive. 
So now I level the bed as always with a piece of paper for all the corners. Let's preheat the bed and nozzle and print something. Since this kit has no spool holder and there is already a spool holder G-code file on the SD card that you receive, I will print that first since I really need a spool holder. For this print I've used the spool holder for my Creality CR10. TiVo should really include a metal spool holder in their kit. Anyway, insert the card and select print from SD card. The printer starts printing. This was a quite long print since the spool holder is big and there is also around 30% infill for this part. Anyway, the final part end up great, I'm more than happy with the results. Of course I also printed a Benchy in order to compare results. This print also turned out great. Very nice details. I compared the Benchy from the Creality CR10 and the Tornado using the same G-code file and the same filament. As you can see they are both equally great, perfect layers, good infill and details. I have to say that this printer made a very good job. Ok, so we have made a quick unbox, assembled this huge printer and printed a few examples. It's time for my opinion of this kit and I've got to say that I'm pretty satisfied. Since the Creality is my favorite till now, I will make a quick compare with that printer. It's clear that the structure is a copy of the Creality, since it's pretty much the same, so regarding the body I've got to say that it's as strong as the Creality one, even with a few upgrades as the metal brackets here. Have in mind that my Creality is not the latest version. So we have the same metal bars for the frame, metal brackets for all the axes, metal supports for the heated bed, on the bottom for the printed rubber supports, the belt protection, step motor support and the T-brackets, they are all made of metal. So, the structure of this printer is great, or at least the same as the Creality. Next, from my point of view, we have a few improvements. I like more the Titan Extruder. I know it's made out of plastic and looks quite fragile, but for me it's a good extrusion system and kind of easier to use, so a plus one for the Tornado. Next, we should definitely talk about the heated bed. They have the same width but not the same length, TiVo it's a bit longer. The bed was the main issue with the Creality. Since it is so big, the heating time was very long. Now, the Tornado improved that by using a direct power for the heating elements inside of the bed and also a fully insulated for the bottom part of the bed. So, in this case, inside of the main case we won't have an external MOSFET, but an external solid state relay which could handle up to 220 volts. I power both printers at the same time and let's see which one reaches 90 degrees faster, or at least see how much slower is the Creality. As you can see there is a huge time difference, so one more plus for the Tornado, but not so fast. I know that the Biltec material is a very good one, and all the prints stick on it very well, but for my own opinion I'm a fan of using glass plate which in this case I don't have. And even more, these ugly screws are getting out of the heated bed about 1mm, so we couldn't print in this area. So that is a negative part of the tornado bed. Now the main case is kind of the same. It's way shorter than the Creality one and I really like that. And what I also like about this case is that the fans inside are switching on and off only when needed, resulting into less noise. Both cases make a lot of noise since they have a few fans inside. By the way, let's open the main case and see what we have. The first thing that I see is a very powerful power supply, in this case of 24 volts. The Creality had a 12 volts one. We can see the main board with all the step motors drivers, and as said before, the solid state relay for the heated bed. We have two fans on both sides of the case, but I could say that some heat dissipators for all the ICs would be good. The LCD is the same as the Creality, but not that bright. Anyway, that could change from one LCD to another. We do have a potentiometer here in the front part of the case to adjust the brightness. Ok, so that was the case, which in my opinion it's a bit better, 
smaller, quieter and more efficient due to the solid state relay than the Creality CR10 that I have. The print quality is as good as the Creality. We still have the V-shaped rollers with eccentric nuts for all the axes. We have only one lead screw for the Z-axis here on the back, just as the first model of the Creality has. I know that the new model has one on each side. One thing I don't like is the wire plastic cover. It is so cheap and the wires look quite fragile with this cover. The Creality has a way better textile material cover that goes inside of the plug. In case of the Tornado, the plastic cover won't go inside of the plug, so all the fragile part will be in this area. So that is a minus one for the Tornado. But in general it's a very good printer. In my opinion it's quite better than the first model of the Creality that I have. I haven't used the new Creality models so I can't compare. But this is quite obvious because it's the same design but with some more improvements. The body is the same, the heated bed is better, the belt and lead screw system is the same, same motors and size. But we have the Titan extruder, metal bracket with bearing for the lead screw, smaller main case, great design with very alive colors and nice logos. The nozzle part is the same, with a fan to keep the upper part cool. The printing speed and quality are the same, so what could I say? I really like the Tornado. I've just used it for 3 days and a few prints, but as a first impression I'm more than happy and I could say that is as good as the Creality. As for reliability I can't say much, since I've only used it for a few days, so I can't say that it will fail in the future or not. Right now the Tivo Tornado is around 270 euros on Gearbest, without the coupons and the Creality is still 370, so what could I say? You have some coupons below if you want to buy this printer and also help my workshop at the same time. There you have it guys, my short review of this printer. I'm very happy with this kit. I really recommend it, the quality is very good and right now the price is way lower than the Creality. I've got to say that the prices are always changing, so you might get it for less or more by the time you watch this video. Anyway, use the coupons and links in the description for a small discount and enjoy your prints. This was my review of this printer. I hope that this video will help you make an opinion about this kit. I've tried to include in the video all the main aspects and parts of the printer. It is fast to assemble, strong frame, Great prints and nice price, I can't ask for more. If my videos help you and you would like to help my projects, I've got a Patreon campaign. The link is down below as always, I would really appreciate that guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. Remember, if you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.